God, we thank you for your word contained in the stories and pages of scripture, and we thank you for your word made flesh in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And we pray that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will be at work in us this afternoon, that your spirit and your word might come alive in us. Speak through my words or speak in spite of them, but we ask you to speak for your servants are listening. In Christ's name, amen. When I was in high school 100 years ago, I had the opportunity several times to attend honors choir festivals. One of the most powerful things that I experienced during those festivals was the coming together of students from dozens of different high schools. Prior to the event, usually that took place over two days, we would have practiced our own individual voice parts, but we may not have ever heard any of the other parts. And so we came together, never having met one another, and over the course of a few short hours of rehearsal under the direction of often a well-known composer of choral music, what came out at the concert the next evening was nothing short of beautiful. But the coolest part of those experiences for me happened when one of those directors lined out a single note for each voice part and asked us to sing a single vowel. He would point to the soprano ones and say, sing this, soprano twos, sing this, altos, tenors, and basses. Then, one at a time, he would simply point to each section and move his hand up or down, directing us to raise or lower our tone. And each playing our part, following the direction of a leader that we had come to trust, something beautiful would come out of the simplest of sounds. From time to time, as one section would move, there would be this moment of tension when the sound would create a sense of dissonance, but then the director moved his hand once more, and it would resolve to a brand new chord. Sisters and brothers, I don't need to tell you that we live in contentious times in our world. Our denomination continues to struggle in the midst of differences over deeply held convictions. Our world seems to have forgotten how to speak to one another, how to care for one another, how to welcome one another, how to love one another. And yet our conductor, Jesus, who is the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, still invites us to sing a new song. Jesus stands before us even today, giving us each a note to lift up, directing us when to move towards something new and different, and accompanying us through that dissonance, through that tension, until we find something beautiful to offer together to one another and to the world. The question is, are we willing to sing that song? Let's pray. God of creation and life, from the dust of the earth you created humankind and breathed your spirit into us. You knit us together and we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yet God, you also created us not to be independent of one another. Rather, you designed us to be one body with many members so that we are one with each other. We know, God, that we can only be one with each other if we are first one with you. Help us, O oh God, to know that unity with Christ that comes from your Spirit. And we pray that we will find harmony with one another, not always playing the same note, but still finding ways to make something beautiful together. Our desire, God, is to live into your commandment that we love you with all that we are and that we love one another. Amen.